you can't change who you are fundamentally you cannot change who you are and that's a good thing when people hear that there can be a very strong negative reaction to it which of course shows us that there's a lot of work maybe we need to do on well a lot of questions we need to ask about well who is it this self that you think you don't like and my thinking on this is that the self you don't like is not who you are it's not you so it's more of a questioning and dropping the self-perception rather than changing who you are it's more about remembering who you are truly and I don't mean this in some kind of like abstract spiritual sense like you are awareness which is true but I'm talking who you are as a person who you were born to be as a human being a spiritual human being the human and the being aspect of who you are you were born to be a certain type of person now the problem is personalities you're born with a personality and it's perfect and it has a purpose it's here to do something it has some healing to do but it is here for a purpose a very important purpose and when the personality we're born with is expressed it brings a lot of light and joy into the world so it's very important to live from our personality the person who we were born to be the problem is this that, that beautiful personality that you are we all are we're all unique we're all very different in our personality it gets dropped down into a a mind a mindset the, the problem isn't the world we're born into the problem is the mindset of the world the mindset that dictates what this world is like personality gets dropped into this mindset and the mindset is not safe for personalities the predominant mindset in our world is a very dangerous place for a personality to be to one degree or another a personality gets dropped into this mindset which is a very split mindset a very conflicted mindset to one degree or another it will experience trauma what happens with the mindset is when the personality gets dropped into that, to that mindset is that the personality f is obscured it fades from awareness and it, it's now this self perception takes over that is trying to fix something that it's, it's broken it is broken and it's now constantly trying to improve and fix itself but that's all that dynamic is only happening in the when the personality that we're born as is obscured and faded away we forget who it is so we're broken trying to fix ourselves broken trying to fix ourselves this is the split mindset that we're, we're it's it's waiting for us upon arrival here in this world so the the problem is never your personality your real personality and you can't change your real personality our job is to question deeply the mindset that we inherited that we were born into we look around this world and it seems to be pretty dysfunctional the world itself is actually neutral what the problem is is the mindset that is underneath it all it's the unseen aspect of reality when we start to question that question this idea of fixing myself question the idea that there's something wrong with me who you are born to be we start to really see that this mindset that we're born into is not that useful and maybe 
worth leaving. Not leaving the world. Being in the world. But not of the world. Not of that mind. Mindset. So this is a reminder that your personality is absolutely perfect. It's precisely what the world needs, is you showing up as who you were born to be. In order to have that happen, we have to question a lot of the narratives and a lot of this craziness that is going on psychologically all around us. You need to make more money, you need to be more successful, there's something wrong with you, you're not as good as that person over there, you're not good enough, all this stuff. Valuing things that are not important. Start to question, do I really need the big car? Do I really need, you know, all these things that we're told that we need? Do I really need to improve myself? Because you know what happens when you finally pull that off? when you finally improve yourself you know what you feel anxiety because now the problem becomes this this self that I've fixed it's kind of precarious what if I can't maintain this what if I slip back so this it's kind of a false self that emerges in the absence of the personality. When the personality is obscured and fades from awareness, this false self, false identity emerges. And it can only feel one of two ways. It can either feel lousy about itself or it can feel insecure about feeling lousy about itself. Not great options. Now this mindset that we're in this world is a very split mindset it's at war with itself and that mindset is within a thought system called an ego an ego is a system of thought that's much more obscure but there is an alternative to the ego the ego determines what that split mindset is like right but when we realize actually there's an alternative to ego an egoic thought system and it's actually the exact opposite of the ego people call it different things intuition spirit higher self people will call it the mind of God they'll call it different things but whatever it is it's not based in competition it's not based in doggy dog one or the other it's you or me it's different different to that it's just different and our, our role really is to basically contact that more and more because what I've described here is okay your personality is obscured and our job is to get back to that how the hell do we do that we're gonna need a bit of help maybe not from maybe from a therapist but mainly from that intuitive thought system that we have access to and it's usually well always actually only accessible through stillness through getting still through getting quiet and getting here's a big one not just still getting honest get honest honest about what well, when I'm down here in this world and I'm in this split mind, you know what I'm doing? I'm not being honest. I'm pretending. I'm pretending I'm okay. Pretending I feel good when I don't really feel good. So to make contact with this intuitive higher mind that is the opposite of ego, we need to say, okay, stillness and I need to get honest. I don't feel good here. Okay, good. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm not feeling great if I don't feel great. Maybe I do feel great, that's good, I'm honest about that, but if you're in this mindset, this lower mindset, this lower level of consciousness that this world functions on, you're not going to feel good. You're either going to feel depressed or you're going to feel anxious, or a combination of both. So, our job is to get still and get honest with ourselves, just with ourselves. It's like, 
how am I really feeling? Because we're told to be resilient all the time, right? And yeah, resilience is useful. But if resilience can then become a form of denial and repression about how I'm actually feeling. So, through stillness and through honesty about how we're doing, that's foundation. That's like, okay, at least I know where I am here. This, this is a truthful reflection of how I'm feeling, how I'm doing. And, you know, the ego thought system gives advice. It gives all sorts of things that you should do. You will receive guidance from that intuitive thought system. It is there. It is the thing that's going to help you reconnect with your personality. The ego won't. But this intuitive higher mind, higher self spirit will help you to remember who you are on a human level, your personality, and, and even in a spiritual level, the, the larger awareness that is really closer to your true identity. So what I don't like in some spiritual things is like, it's all about awareness, 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 and it's not about the, the human part of it. The human part of it is just as important as the awareness part of it. And you are a person. You do have a function here in the three-dimensional world to embody a personality, to express yourself, to create, to join, and to fulfill a purpose. So it's always both. So let me just recap. And this is one thought I'd like you to think about. You can't change who you are because you don't need to. Who you are is perfect. The personality you were born with is perfect for what you need to do here. You need to do. Your unique experience here. Your personality is perfect for that. So all we have to do is just kind of remember who we really are and question a lot of this stuff about I have to do this, I have to do that, or I'm not good enough here, or I can't do that. Questioning all this, question, 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 asking for guidance, get still, get honest about how we're feeling. And you'll start to get more real. You'll start to think, oh, I'm not I'm not pretending anymore. So good not to pretend in life. You don't have to f fake it, I don't have to prove anything. <laughs> That's a really, really good feeling when you don't have to defend yourself. So you can't change who you are, but you don't have to. Why would you ever think of changing who you are? Hope that's a useful insight for you. And uh, let me know what you think below, maybe. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.